Hey guys, welcome back to another devotion. We're going through our daily bread for kids, and today's theme is prayer power. So you all know what prayer is, right? It's when you speak to God, whether it's silently in your head with your eyes closed, or when you speak out loud, or when you write it down. Um, prayer is just speaking to God. And prayer can be incredibly powerful. Let's listen to a story in the Bible about a time when prayer did something powerful. So after Jesus went up to heaven, um, all his disciples were going around and telling everyone about Jesus and bringing them to God and stuff. But the king in the area didn't like that. So he started trying to catch as many disciples as he could and arresting them. Um, so he caught Peter and put him in prison. And now the church was very upset about this. And so the church was praying for Peter. It says in Acts 12, chapter, f er, chapter 12, verse 5, sorry. So Peter was kept in prison, but the church prayed hard to God for him. So the church was praying to God for Peter's safety, for um, God to release Peter from prison. And God listened because the church prayed. He sent one of his angels down into prison with Peter. Now Peter had shackles on his arms and he was all chained up and he had the doors to his prison cell that were closed and locked and he had guards all around. But the angel came into his cell and said, Peter, get up, hurry, we have to go. And so Peter stood up and the shackles fell off his arms and the door swung open to his cell. The locked door swung open to his cell. Let's check out what happens in this book here. It says, the angel led Peter out of prison. Peter was so confused, he didn't think that what was happening was real, but it was real. The angel walked Peter past the guards and led him to the city gate. The big metal gate opened all by itself. Once Peter was safe, the angel left and Peter realized he was not having a dream. So he went to the house where his friends were praying. They were amazed when he told them what happened. No matter what you pray, God hears you. Sometimes he answers in amazing ways. Guys, this was a miracle that Peter was able to get out of prison. <laughs> so many things happened that just aren't physically possible, like his shackles falling off or the door swinging open or him walking past the guards without them seeing him. <laughs> All of this was possible because Peter's friends in the church, they prayed for him, and God answered in an amazing, incredible way. Guys, we can do this too. We can pray to God, and sometimes God will answer in incredible ways. Your prayer, your specific prayer, is extremely powerful. I pray that, or think about that today, guys. Think about when you pray to God, how powerful that prayer can be. Think about how God can answer and respond to your specific prayer. Let's pray about that right now. God, I just thank you for, I thank you for this way that we can communicate to you, Lord, through prayer. I thank you for this avenue that we can reach out to the creator of the world and talk to you. And more specifically, I thank you that prayer can be so powerful, that you can respond to our prayers. And I pray that you remind us of that today, Lord, as we go throughout our day. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys, that was a great devotion. Can't wait to hear what we learn about next. Until then, stay safe.